Okay. I didn't want to get on camera because I've like been crying today, so I don't know if I'm Puffy McPufferston or Black Eyed McGoob, but I don't care. Um, <clears throat> like I'm Black Circle Eyed McGoob, yeah. <laughs> black eyes, black circles, whatever. Um, yeah, I was wondering when it, when it was going to hit me, and today I'm like, oh my god, it was just like, you know how tears just water fall out, and you're not even like, eh, mm, squeeze them out or anything, they're just like, <laughs> water falling, and, um, and magical signs and synchronicities too, oh god, and then that with, um, probably because I hiked for three hours, and I haven't done that for a long time, but... Yeah, Zorch today, a lot of purging through the ocular tear duct region. <laughs> um, so that felt good, and then I had a good talk with my dad. Not too lengthy, he had to get to feeding the dogs, and so as we were talking, I was shuffling cards, and I wanted to share. Well, okay, so the first one. <laughs> so I pulled from this deck, which is the winged. The light is like... Better if I turn it more towards the window. I don't know. Lighting's like weird, weird right now. Because I have the overhead light on, so it's like making it shadowy. Anyway, but. So. I don't know how to work. No, that's even worse. Well, it was really dark in here, even though there's light coming through the window, so I turned the overhead light on. I don't know, it just looks... There we go, I guess as you get closer, there we go. So this is... A, I love this deck. All birds, very magical. So, okay, I'm talking to my dad. I already have this out, I'm shuffling. I ask him what his favorite bird is. And I'm already picturing this owl card. Because as soon as I ask that question... I got the answer in my head and visualized um, the owl card. And he didn't tell me until after this happened, but he was actually staring at a, a tapestry right in front of him that had a big owl on it, okay? Um, and then he proceeds to tell me how he was going through all these blankets that he had, all these spare blankets that were given to him and blah, 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 in the back room and... Someone said, yeah, it has like, you know, because he lives in New Mexico. He's like, yeah, it has like Native American print and, you know, Southwestern design on it, whatever. And um, it ended up, it had a big giant owl on it. <laughs> and he has Scorpio rising. I'm Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, like right in the center there. My rising is just. Psh. So it's like the shamanic healer where he's more of like just all about the detective work of it, you know, so. Um, he, the archaeology that did, which, so I have that too, like, the, but more of like the detective, because the detective helps out the victim and it brings justice to the world, you know, so, um, because that's that sad, uh, cusping element of it. But I think he's like 20 something degrees scorp rising, so, um, he's Libra, loyal Libra. So interestingly, so I'm, my, Grandfather was born 1919. Now I have an Isaacur 1919 that used to be out here. Brother of mine, soul brother. I know his soul family because we had this dream where we walked through the dark water together. Blah blah blah. I'm not going to go into it or talk about it. And then I was getting, I always get one nine combinations, and as of late too. And so my dad tells me because I asked what my grandfather's birthday was. So my brother and my aunt. My brother's a triple Taurus. My brother and my aunt, my dad's sister, both born on the same day, 10 years apart, I believe. Okay, so April 23rd. Then my grandfather is born on April 25th. Okay, years apart. Okay. So this card comes up, the Al card. And what number is it? It's 24. It's right in between 23 and 25. And the reason why I asked my father what my grandfather's birthday was okay so there are triple Tauruses and there's three Tauruses 
Is that right? Does it go? So March. Unless that's, is that a cusp? I'm trying to think, it's, it's kind of right on the cusp, if it, either way, if that's going into Taurus, because I, I always get March right there with Aries, Pisces, Taurus, that little region. I'm like, wait, is it March? Because um, I'm trying to think of birthdays. March 14th, that's Pisces, so March. Okay, so. Yeah, because it goes, um, Taurus. Okay, so the reason why I asked my dad what my grandfather's birthday was. Oh, so yeah. before that happens, okay, the magic. Oh my god, I I had such an adrenaline rush from this. Like I was getting. Thank God my dad couldn't talk for long. I had to go feed the dogs because I got so tired. I'm like, oh my god. My muscles, like when you, you know, when you get a, like a panic attack, whatever, adrenaline flows through you. It's like your muscles cramp up. I s jumped up, stood in the corner of my room right here, <laughs> and went, oh, 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 like I don't even know how many times. And w couldn't even talk. It was just like, like if you almost drown and you were trying to catch your breath. And that's what happened to me before. Okay. So I'm shuffling. I ask my dad what his favorite bird is. I see this owl card in my head. He's looking at a tapestry. He says owl. And of course, because the shaman, Scorpio, rising, okay. I'm shuffling, and this little pop happens with this card. Just a little, like a little puff of air, okay? So all the other ones were sliding straight on each other like this. And this one just... Little, just very slightly, okay, caught my attention, but I kept shuffling, but it was just, I kept my eye on it, so I knew exactly where it was, and something told me to stop and just pull the card, and just see, <laughs> I pulled it out, and I don't care if you believe me or not, this was a personal reading for me and my dad, Okay, both of our energies were, were in this reading. This is this was for both of us because I got messages specifically for him and specifically for me and for both of us. So, owl. Okay. I, I it took a while for me to compose myself. So. When I picked that, what was at the bottom of the deck was turkey. Was that the turkey? Yeah. Okay. And then goose at the top. And when I lived in my grandfather's house for about five months or so when they were selling it and I was in between places, so I was kind of like, um, what do they call that? Home sitting kind of, um, while my aunt was trying to sell it not whatever. Money, 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 money. So I had some magical experiences when I was there. I conceived my son on 11 one eleven. Um, <clears throat> there was a flock of geese because it was right on the right. And nice, rich doctors, retirement, secluded, you know, gated community in this retirement area. And um, the neighbors had, so it overlooked the polo field. Oh, if I can get pictures somehow off my old computer. I'll try to make a slideshow. It was just, oh, it was so beautiful, the magical setting and everything. I mean, the horrible times that I was in, but it was, okay, so the energy was beautiful there, though. There's horses, like three horses next door. Um, deer everywhere, wild turkey. So there was, I always saw wild turkey. I don't even care about my hair, whatever. And, and then the geese, it was like clockwork. Like they would because the neighbors had, like, the horses, and they had, like, this little pond, like, little man-made pond. And so the you'd always see the geese leave, come over, you know, at, like, clockwork. Okay, so turkey and geese really, and my grandfather was a hunter and everything, 
it that reminded me of living up at my grandfather's house it reminded me of my grandfather okay and so when i asked my dad when he was born so 24 coincided with this card because he was born on the 24th and quail also reminded me of my grandfather um and then 1919. So I was like, oh God, are you kidding me? And my dad was talking about hiking um, once a month, uh, once a month, once a week. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go every day. I'm like, uh, no, because it takes half hour to get there and half hour. So that's just an hour of walking right there. And then I, so I guess I hiked for two hours because I would, I would put my son on the bus, 830. Oh, and the whole time fear tried to come up, I kept saying, no, everything's going to work out perfectly. I'm not going to get lost. I'm going to find the right trail. I'm going to find the road. I'm going to find the access point by Mark Drive, which was my dad's name. Okay. Right behind Mark Drive, there's the access right perfectly right down the hill from my son school. So as I'm coming back, and lo and behold, it loops me back. I'm like, right, I'm right back where I started. I'm at the very, so I ended up doing the whole ridge loop and I'm like, okay, cool. So I ended up doing the big one and I still got back in time. And as I'm coming down the mountain, so I see the tennis courts. I'm like, okay, so now I know where I am. Okay, I'm perfect. Plenty of time probably because last time I checked my phone, it was, you know, just, you know, within 20 minutes. I was like, okay, well, perfect time. I'm sure I probably have at least, you know, another 20 minutes, whatever. And, um... So right when I saw the tennis courts, I realized where I was right around, a right around the corner from my house. So five minutes, not even from my house. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So what time to go to, so now I pull out my phone to see what time it is. Guess what time it is. You know what time it was. <laughs> so my dad's talking about this place called Clow something or other. And he's like, give me, give me your impression about blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, let me, let me see. Let me go um, check out the, um... so there's this place called Three Rivers. And I had a synchronicity with South America, Three Rivers Hill. So here's Three Rivers. Not only that, there's Tula Rosa. There's also a town called Santa Rosa. There's Rosewell, Roswell. Okay, my dad grew up in a town named Santa Rosa, but in California. This is New Mexico. Um, there's three rivers. There's all these confirmations because of my brother Gat and Rosa. Um, so Tula Rosa, White Oaks is also the name of a um, street that was in this retirement community where my grandfather lived. Um, he lived on Wild Oak. So there's Wild Oak, White Oak. So the three rivers, I mean, there's, so there, um, there was a route, something 55 right nearby. So, and then this is right on route 244. Or the, the Mescalero reservation, that's 244. So 44 and two, and then 55. So the numbers, the names, the synchronicities, the town, the same town where my dad grew up. <laughs> it's like, there's a town named Santa Rosa, which I mean, St. Rose, it's, it's popular, but then three rivers, okay, and I was just having another synchronicity with my twin in Tramontina. Tra is like tres, three mountains, three rivers. Okay, so the <laughs> freaking Alcard. Oh, it was 11-11, by the way. <laughs> when I, uh, yeah. So... The, my higher self just kept coming in and saying, everything is going to be divine. Everything is going to get, is going to be perfect. Because I thought, I know it's only going to be a partial eclipse, but it's supposed to be cloudy too. They were spraying a lot last night. What if I'm like in a very, it's really foresty on this trail I've never been. And even though I mapped it, it's just this one little area. So it's, yeah, you can't get lost. It's very, it's well, you know, you'll see people on the trail. It's, you know, um, you can't get lost. It goes in a loop back to where you started. So eventually <laughs> um and if not you have a cell phone um yeah that'd be real sad to <laughs> get so anyway um this i just kept get being told it's going to be divine everything's going to be div divine everything's going to work out perfectly because i was like what oh, 
What if it got dark when I'm in a really densely forested area because the eclipse and I just don't, it's a new place. Just, you know, not like scared, but just like it's the first time hiking out there. I was hiking by myself and it was the eclipse and I, um, but every, it's all good. Everything's, per I mean, look, there's nothing to fear. There's no need to worry because Electra is here. Oh, let me minimize this now so I can see what I'm doing. So Electra is here. Sorry it's so dark, you guys. I'm trying to like, will that work? Okay, now I look up Electra. Electron. Okay, I, I just randomly say ozone the shit out of that shit or so I said ozone something ozone it because when I was trying to find when I found out I had more gallons and then okay so you're looking up everything ozone blah 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 so I realized you know what okay so ozonate ozonating your water and your environment and so on and so forth so that's why I said ozonate the shit out of that shit whatever I said but I said ozone or ozonate or something ozone so electra okay look up electra this is so weird why this, I don't know why this is like, yes, yeah, because it's, it's too much um, shine on the background from the white, uh, okay, that's better, yeah, I'm going to have a little dark in the shot there. So this is Electra, okay. She's the mother of iris, which I have all over my yard. These purple and gold irises, which is the rainbow. Then she is the nymph of the, oh gosh. I was getting silver lining. She's the goddess of the, and I'm not, I know I'm not going to say this right because I just looked her up. The amber, and if you're watching this, brother, you know who you are with the amber synchronicity gat, okay? <laughs> um, the amber lining, the electron amber lining of this, the clouds, storm clouds are so... Uh, okay, and she's the Electra. She's those, okay, the amber lining which is like golden, okay. So I need to research her more, but she flew out with, um, what would I do with the other card now? Sacred knowledge. Try to get the colors on there. Sacred knowledge. You can see all the purple. It's kind of dark. Yeah, it's just the lighting. It's not uh, too much white in the background over here or something. I don't know. Whatever. So ancient and sacred knowledge is waiting within the heart of the earth, yearning to be discovered. And I was just talking with my dad when these, so these were flying out. I was shuffling, grabbing another deck, shuffling. The owl one, that's the only one I asked him about. But so, and he said hiking once a week. And so I said that too. And I got the butterfly card that said, um, workout routine or what did it say? So let me fin. So, okay. So he's talking about going to this place to doing, doing like, you know, archeological digs. That's like his thing. He's, you know, that's Scorpio energy. <clears throat> So what flies out is um, support, a new exercise program. That he was really sick and almost died. He was on hospice the year before I went out there and we healed our relationship. We hadn't talked, spoken to each other, I hadn't spoken, had any communications, contact with him whatsoever for 10 years. Um, so now we were tight as ever, like we always were. Um, so when he said once a week, I said, that's what I came to do. Cause I was like, I'm going to go every day. And then my body's like, nah, I'm like Thursday. They're like, you'll be lucky if you get another one in Friday. Why don't you just try once a week? <laughs> so we have our team supporting us with our health. 
to get back into our exercise routine and just, you know, my dad goes for an hour. He drives to the spot where he goes to, but you know, I got to walk to a spot. So that's already an hour of hiking right there. So, but you can take bigger loops, smaller loops. Um, I had a lot of energy on the day of the eclipse. So I hiked for three hours straight, literally from the, from the time I put my son on the bus, 830. I had my backpack already on me, locked the door. Um, well, checked it. It was already locked. <laughs> and then I was walking, didn't go back in the house for nothing. I already had my water, everything ready to go. My medicine, all that. So we had nice, oh, and like I said, when I got back, it said 11, 11. So from 8.30, 8.32, whatever, you know, 8.30 to 11, 11. I was pretty much, I took a couple minute breaks, you know, here and there, watch the eclipse for a minute and stuff. So, you know, we have the support to start this new exercise program. It doesn't have to kill us. But, it, I, you know, we need to incorporate, I think, routine is, uh, um, you know, once a week, um, do something that you really love to do. You know, go to the lake once a week. Swim. Like, really be active with it, you know. Row a canoe or something. Um, whatever part of your body. I need to work out more my lower legs. That's what I've been experiencing a lot of inflammation with and stuff. So... Uh, my upper strength's good, um, haven't been experienced, so the inflammation started more with the hands, then it, like, it migrates, and so that's the part of the body that I need to work on more. So for you, whatever it is, you know, then you can switch off, you know, and, uh, you know, you don't want to over, over fatigue yourself, so, but incorporating it as a routine, I think, is really important, and especially now that, you know, it's already going to be September, so we're going to start hunkering down for the winter. We're going to start eating richer foods. We need to make sure, you know, the, the days are going to be shorter. We need to really make sure that we're incorporating exercise um, now so that it's really a good part of our routine, a solid part of our routine as we move into the colder months. I know um, where I am in Northern California, the foothills, it gets cold. It's 2,700 feet altitude here, so... We get snow and stuff. So it says, take the next step now. <laughs> Gracefully aging right behind that. So ripening, you know, anything that's ripening gracefully. So, you know, that was one thing. I want to, you know, longevity and growing old gracefully and not clinging on to looks and weight. I, I want to be healthy. It's not about a number. It's about how good do you feel, how do you have the energy to keep up with your lifestyle that that you want to keep living? And very interesting, one of my sisters out here got the same card because I didn't remember the word, but I remembered that flower. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the same one she got. Because <laughs> she has this deck too, so. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I was also getting because there's like family changes, grief, work, spiritual growth, get some rest. Some of you, courage, parental care, end of an era, um, religion and spirituality, relationship dynamics, just self-care. There's a bunch in a row that... Volunteer, finances, windfall, be true to you. So, and one of my besties is dealing with that. She takes care of her son and then her her mother, you know, they got to sell the house, put her in a home, do all that kind of stuff, right? So, um, some of you might be actually experiencing some stage of that. Um... Or doing a lot of serious thinking about it because it's becoming part of your reality and, and maybe quicker than what you're comfortable with as far as the pace at what it, at, you know, when people start to deteriorate and, and when they're aging and um, it can be gradual and sometimes it can just be like I took care of a woman she was fine and then a week later in the hospital and then she didn't come out so and that's why I can't do that job <laughs> um, like Julia Roberts and Flatliner so 
Yeah. That was that one and one and only time. Um, as far as caretaking, I'll do other things. So take care of your pets, your plants. Your, I'm, I can't take care of uh, people who... And I just love older people. They're so rich. All the stories. All, it, it, it's... It, you become so interwoven, right? And yeah, letting go, right? And and then you gotta let go quickly and move through these. It, it's too much for me. Too sensitive. Sorry, too sensitive. So anyway, tangent, tangent. <laughs> Crystals hold the key. So I told my dad maybe um, you could use a crystal pendulum, and he said that he had already made one with this crystal ball and this little thing and blah blah blah. I'm like you should use that. So it says, connect energetically with the earth and her crystal realm. Healing, love, and abundance result. And Electra, so that was the sacred. And I'm looking schlubby. I don't even care. Like I said, I haven't pretty much gotten out of bed all day. I've just been eating pears all day. I had my coffee this morning. but So beautiful. Um, see how it kind of looks like a rainbow, too? amber rainbow and this speaks of being the mother of iris the rainbow and being the amber rim of the clouds the storm clouds um <clears throat> so she says electricity thunderbolt activation you are subconsciously connecting with the awesome power that lies in the energy of the stars Intergalactic transmission from a place beyond time. Beyond time. A message is coming. Be open minded. Cut my face off there, so. Be open minded. Activation, transmission, communication from your star family. Okay? messages coming and if you read what I just read about Electra I will um, there's probably better ones this is one I just clicked on I'll, I'll put a link in the description box so you can read what I actually just read um <laughs> about a second coming, a message is coming, a messenger is coming, anyway, I can't, today I'm done, <laughs> right, I can't even, I'm so glad I had a bag of ripe pears, because, and I'm, my kidneys are going to be flushed up out after eating all those, so, I shared the butterfly, I shared the, the spirit oracle, and the winged enchantment, those were magical. Um, the Buddha wisdom card that came out for the Divine Masculine was, and it flew out, it flipped out. Endure harsh words, for many people speak wildly. Endure hard words in peace. Yeah, if someone calls you names or judges you they're just acting unconsciously it's not even that they're just projecting how they feel inside some people it's not even that deep really sometimes it's just they're just they're bumbling through unconsciously and not engaging and, and forming connections and you know being conscious of the connection i should say because it's all connected whether you want to be consciously aware of it or not. God exists. You can accept God or reject God, you know. You can participate in the in the uh, distortion duality or the higher duality. So, you know, if someone gives you dislike, don't even comment about it. If someone unsubs your channel, don't even comment about it. Uh, or if you have to unsub someone's channel, you just don't have to comment about it and make an announcement about it. No, just move on. Let it go. Delete. Unsub. Process. You got triggered. Process it. Don't don't let it filter through onto your channel. Don't let it filter through onto your comments and then you respond. And this is what we have to do to maintain this higher vibration. We can't even engage. We can't try to change people. We can't even try to help people. 
All we can do is be... B. <laughs> BB. All we can do is BB. And this one is what flew out. And interesting because I just got this and this was on the bottom when this one flew out. So the one that flew out was seeing divinity in everyone and everything. You are nurturing your Buddha nature within. So when you see the divinity in everyone and everything, when you say namaste, that's what you're saying. You're saying, I, God, see you, God. I, you know, the God in me, the divine in me, sees the divine in you. I recognize the divine in myself as I recognize the divine within you. So it's divinity reflecting itself. That's what namaste is. So the one on the bottom, and I just got, was wisdom dispels ignorance. Because that's what I told my dad. I said, I said, all we can do is be wise. We can't try to teach people. We can't. All we can do is be the wisdom that we contain and keep, you know, receiving more through God's grace as God allows and as we're ready for it. Um, and that alone will dispel the ignorance. We don't have to go act, do a thing. I'm going to go dispel ignorance today. No, by being wisdom, you dispel ignorance. By being light, you dispel darkness, okay? You don't need to go anywhere with your light, right? I mean, God makes us go all over the place, right? Because we're light workers and we get to do all this shit. But. So, and on the top was, as you perceive, and oh, and that's why I'm reading these, because I got both of these cards, okay? Personally, that I didn't share on the channel or anything. So, so the wisdom dispels ignorance I got, and this one as well, prior to this reading. As you perceive birth as coming and death as going, you are bound by the mental obstacles. Basically, the, the lower duality of things being oppositional, whereas actually they're complementary. Positive and negative, they create the third energy, that circuit, like in a battery. They come towards each other, constantly coming towards each other, okay? But... The lower duality matrix resonates because it's stolen from the template. It's like a knockoff. That's what I was trying to think of when I was talking to my dad. It's like a knockoff version, okay? Like the Fendi bag or whatever. What's what's popular nowadays? I don't even know. It used to be like guest jeans back in the day. When it, but that, those are like affordable Macy's. Those are like knockoff bags of like some famous... I don't know. Armani, Fendi, some... Okay. So the knockoffs, it may look as glittery, but it falls apart, right? It's not made out of leather. It falls, not those, not that those bags are worth all that money. I mean, we're not going there, but it's made out of like PVC, polyurethane, vinyl, whatever. And it starts falling apart and peeling and all that, right? But it appeals to us because it looks like the Fendi bag. It, look, it, it has the same appeal. Right? So we resonate with it. So we're, we go to that. Right? And it's also the easier matrix, right? You know, when we got to do it God's way. <laughs> ah, it's funny, you guys. Up there. Down here, all around, in, out, out, right? So let me read the, um, because now I want to see what the bottom one. Oh, I didn't read these. I was like, wait, that's new. And that's another one that I got um, because when I pulled some from my twin, he got both both of um, top and bottom. They both said truth. And that's happened before. So this bottom one says, as long as you... <clears throat> oh, this is key. I was just called to pull that for some... And I didn't even read it with my dad, but I read the top and bottom with for the Kuan Yin Buddha deck. As long as you have unwavering faith, you are a truth seeker. And then the top one says, when that one flipped out, this is what the top one was. Hate never yet dispelled hate. 
Only love dispels hate. Love brings ultimate victory. The ultimate victory. That's right, because that card went with... There was a six of wands. And I think it was the star card. So the star card, I was getting ultimate. The ultimate. Because what is your spirit, your higher self, the ultimate. And then it was right next to the six of wands. And I got that ultimate victory. So I was like, ultimate victory. Hmm, interesting. And it was very, like, loving stuff, like authenticity and loving and union-y stuff, energy, so. All right, just wanted to share that, guys, with, you know, my current energy level, what I experienced um, post-eclipse, new moon, all uh, and magical stuff with my dad <clears throat> that just happened. Like, I'm still, like, <sighs> calming down from it. Thank God my, my son's just waking up from his nap, so I gotta go now, but, um, that owl, I'm not going to read from the book, but you can look up owl yourself, and it's basically the shaman's bird as well as the raven. It's it's the guide to the underworld. It's, it's the wisdom. It's, uh, now i got to read it. <laughs> so, um, I am owl. I am the silence of the night. I am the arrival of mysterious things. I am the revealer. I am the revealer of hidden tracks beneath the snow and ghosts within the psyche. It's kind of like that archeo that digging archaeological energy, the um, uh, revealing the, those hidden tracks beneath the snow. I am the unsettling of darkness. I am the goddess of death. At times you cannot see me, but I permeate all worlds. My hunting grounds are your soul. You are a skilled listener. You are a well-seasoned traveler of realities. I have been watching your movements and tracking your steps. Ooh. <laughs> you are beginning to see beyond the veil and crack the illusion of night. But you must be vigilant and watch your step in the blackness. That's right, you better tread lightly on Mother and give her respect. Take the quiet road and guard your inner world with determined purpose. There is a vast trove, like a treasure trove, there is a vast trove of power that will guide you well as you soar into the cosmos. <laughs> But before you boast of your new winged ally, realize that I am no bringer of easy roads. My path is lonely and requires retreat into the forests of the mind. Mm -hmm. This is where all awareness begins and where all experience comes home to, comes home to fulfill its purpose. So, okay, the last little poetic verse here. Okay, so... You are a sober night vision. You are a master of the shadows. You are at ease in solitude. You are owl. And that's on page 29, which reduces to 11. Um, the mind, so it's where it all begins. So this, it's, it's so, we need to retreat. Yes, maintain heart space, okay. But when we need to figure out stuff, mentally work through things, we maintain our heart space while we access this chakra. Okay, whatever, your ear chakra. As long as we're staying heart-centered, then we're filtering things in through our other chakras properly. Okay, without blocks. So, we need to get into the stillness and the silence. This meditation, prayer, talking with God, whatever you want to call it. We need to have that be part of our routine, our spiritual exercises as well, not just our physical body. What's your spiritual routine? What spiritual exercises? Um, not about b getting into a high vibration. You should just, uh, you can be there, boom, like that. Just maintain, you can switch your mood. Okay, that, but as far as like when you 
when you have a prayer, when you want to talk to God, you want a solution to something, you're really trying to figure something out, you just want to release it to God and get some help, some clarity, guidance. <clears throat> Meditation is so very important. And you can double t you can double it up. You can do it right before you go to bed as you're winding down and relaxing. Instead of watching YouTube meditations or whatever, like do your own meditation. Stillness, silence, computer, off, other room. Okay. <laughs> um, when you're taking a bath. Sometimes I like to watch stuff when I'm taking a bath. And other times I like to just stare out the window <laughs> just watch the trees move and see the sky and the clouds drift and just see what comes to me and hear your heartbeat in the water you feel everything the smells alcohol, all that okay by just being in tune okay so it's very important that we dedicate time to having our spiritual exercises be a part of our routine just like with our physical body both are very important we need both and yeah so and then during the holidays you know that can get busy too lots of parties this that um lots of different foods you probably wouldn't eat that you normally don't cook at home because you're eating at different places and you got a lot of get-togethers you get busy 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 maybe you're gonna be out of town and so you're you can still have your routine even if you're out of town Okay, you can still, even though you're going to someone's house, maybe, you know, you just like, you know, don't, whatever. You just decide you're not going to have a slice of every type of pie. You know, you're like, okay, I'm just going to have, what's my favorite? Okay, I'm just going to have one piece of my favorite pie. Or what, you know, just, there's, I just feel like this preparing to make sure we maintain a routine with our physical body and our spiritual practice that as part of our routine too as we come into a time during the holidays it can start getting hectic it starts getting colder we're not doing our outside activities as much so a lot of different things can change and affect our routines and so um, the kids getting out of school for two weeks and a week and the, you know so Sure, it's important. You're important, okay? So make sure that you remember how important you are and honor yourself as others, right? You're divine, and so is everyone else, so we need to honor that. And, um, yeah, I love you all. I'll leave it at that. Got my pillows right here, right? Comfy, trusty, <laughs> unwavering faith in those pillows. All right, so I love you guys. Blessings to you all and peace be upon you all.